Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all like that beat, right? I like that beat. I like that beat. All right, all right. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Lockout men back once again. I'm in the building. I'm always in the building. If I'm not driving, I'm sleeping. If I'm not sleeping, I am on this thing right here. Editing, talking, chilling. That's what I do. That's what I do. Well, today's podcast interview, I mean, what 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 can I say about these uh these two women right here, man? I I want to honestly say that uh controversy is that is that a strong yo, yo, word? Yo, yo, yo. Is that a strong <laughs> word to use? Controversy hello, for these two hello, women. Hello, 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 everybody. Is it? Is, is it? Is you it? You already oh, know. Man, when we're in the man. building, people are talking. Well, let me yeah. uh, let me go ahead. Let since they already talking, man. Let me go ahead and bring them in. I want to. I want to <laughs> bring got stuff to say. Yeah, I want to bring to the stage. <laughs> First young lady is Clarissa Rankins. She goes by the code name of Cotton Candy. And Maria, she goes by the code name of Gigi. Gigi, Monica, AKA Gigi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what's up. What's up? What's going on, ladies? So happy to be here. So happy to be here. Thank you so much for inviting us onto your platform. We are so excited to meet with you on your amazing platform and just to uh, tell the trucking community and the rest of the world about Trucker Beauty. Trucker Beauties, man. Thank you so much. Trucker Beauties. All right, so let me let me start with uh, let me let me start with Clarissa. I mean, you know, you guys you guys may know her from the from the Rankin Rankin's Real YouTube channel. Y'all y'all know Clarissa, right? Y'all at least yeah, if y'all if y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. if y'all don't, y'all should know Clarissa. Clarissa, introduce well, you already introduced, but introduce yourself and tell tell the people where you came from. Um, so my name is Clarissa Rankin. I am a all around Truck driver. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta let me see if that's the right one. Yeah, there it is. Sessy, phenomenal truck driver. Yes, sir. Uh, Mar- right. Maria, or I'm sorry, Monica. Um, Ma- Ma- and Monica. Monica. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I always. And you gotta excuse me, but I always beat up people's names, so you you gotta excuse me. All right. You're fine. Um, I'm I just. just yeah, saying. and and you know, and I also am a sexy, phenomenal, beautiful diva truck driver. I am a diva she's in my a, own right, but not only am I a truck diva truck. truck driver, I identified myself as a diva in all walks of life. I was mm. uh, a teacher, high school teacher, for seventeen years. I've done social work in the state of New Jersey, in Florida. So you're talking to two intelligent, beautiful diva truck drivers that we're so proud to be part of the industry and we have something to say we have love to share to uh to all of the trucker women to all of the the entire trucking community and we chose an interesting platform to do so um that's... Before we establish Trucker Beauties, uh, hold on, uh, hold on, Clarissa hold on, hold on. Had... wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, <laughs> okay, because when I go, honey, I, yeah, I do not yeah, stop until yeah, it's finished. Yeah, yeah, hold on for a minute now. I'm, I'm still trying to get a. I'm still trying. Uh, I'm still trying to take in. Take, take honey, and can in. I say that? He, uh, can I just say that he is finished before he even knows what happened to him? Oh. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. So this uh Clarissa, uh Cl- uh Clarissa. Um you 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 go you you go by the code name of uh 
you go by the code name of Cotton Candy uh, for the platform. Uh-huh. Uh, Correct. Trucker, we use handle names. Truck, trucker Beauties, man. I mean, wh- where did the idea come from? Well, the idea came from originally two years ago. I was riding my truck, and I'm, everywhere I go, I always get asked, why are you driving so You're too beautiful. Or, oh, my God, you need to be at home. And you always look like that. How can you drive your truck with your long nails? How do you wear your makeup? How do you wear your makeup every day? How do you do your hair? I get all these questions asked. And two years ago, I was thinking, I said, I want to be who I am. But I want to present something to the world that would take over and show that a woman can be sexual in any platform. She can show who she is. But still, that don't mean she can't get her job done. Why do a woman got to be at the house cooking and cleaning? Why can't she be a sexy truck driver? So that idea came to me two years ago. And then I met Gigi, and then we just took off from there. Like, we had the both same mind. And we was like, we're going to be, we're going to create something that can showcase the world that you can be sexy at whatever you do and don't let nobody tell you you can't wear that outfit you or if you wear that you're soliciting sex no we're being ourselves as beautiful women and out here flaunting it like we can't hide i can't hide my ass i can't hide it i can't come we, can can yep. we can't put jackets over it it nope. is there so let's so, have fun with it. So there's no jacket in the world that'll cover up our curves. That's for sure. Yeah. So Ma- you can't hide it. So Monica, uh, Monica, Gigi, Clarissa came to you with the idea. What, 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 what did you think of it? I mean, did you have some reservations on it? <laughs> did you have some reservations yeah, well, on it, or what was? was what, I, what, what what happened was um, I am I, I'm you know all over the internet as far as like being in all the trucking groups and things like that. So I did see the Don't Rush Challenge that a lot of different professionals were doing, nursing professionals, workout professionals, and I said I want to create one for the truckers. And there were several that were released, so mine was one of them. So when I got a group of women together to do this uh, Don't Rush Challenge, Clarissa, um, you know, by way of recommendation of another truck driver she was on my don't rush challenge she reached out to me and it was just like we had one mind on what we were talking about because when I shared with her that I've been wanting to do a sexy female trucker calendar for the men men 2021 look out for that sexy trucker calendar so when I said that to Corinda she's like oh my god I wanted to do one too so it didn't matter what we talked about we're like oh my god I wanted to do that too so we have had one mind from day one yep all right from day one all right day one so trucker so trucker beauties you said this this incarnation started two years ago but you guys just now getting it up getting it up and running right yes and the reason why we called it trucker beauties is because who doesn't want to be beautiful feel beautiful because let me tell you there's so many women day in and day out drop that gorgeous and and for whatever reason they do not feel beautiful whether it's whether it's um of uh, because of personal reasons medical reasons they're with the wrong person they're uh, on the truck for weeks and months at a time and don't have time to practice that personal self-love self-care self-touching you forget that sexual side and we said we want to have a platform that we celebrate these beautiful women Okay. And then, so what, so because we wanted to, we wanted to have something to service the whole, or the woman, um, the entire woman, we said, well, we have to include the men. And then obviously when men get around women, they love it, they get horny. And then, so we want to provide a platform that we can make them happy too. So that's where we launched the, the, um, the lifestyle group, but the lifestyle group and even the triple X chat that we have, those are just sublets of what Trucker Beauties is. So we're getting a lot of press for those platforms, but that is not the entire vision of Trucker Beauties. If I could just explain what Trucker Beauties is really quickly, and we have our Trucker Beauties webpage. 
webpage up, www.strokerbeauties.com. We have our business page, and those pages are PG, so you can go and visit those and see our mission statement that we are we are here to showcase beautiful, sexy, feminine, and if a woman doesn't really choose to be feminine but she feels beautiful that way, then we're here to celebrate that too. Now, to say. And I just wanted to finish this last point as far as saying that uh, we're here to, to, to show people that we're here to stay and we came to slay. And we want people to accept us in the way that we come, that we do not have to make ourselves smaller or change our authentic self just to fit people's preconceived notion of what a female trucker should look like. Okay. That's all I needed to say about that's, that. That's what's up. That's what's <laughs> up, Monica. Yeah, trucker beauties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, uh, that was the language our teacher and me coming out. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so man, so let's uh, let's let's delve a little bit into into trucker beauties, man. So you guys, so you 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 guys pretty much just just wanted something, just wanted something for the ladies, right? Just uh, just wanted yeah. something for the ladies, you know, to give them a little bit of give them a little bit of shine, but but it's it's a little bit of controversy behind it. Though. Correct. It's some controversy Correct. behind it, though, because you know, I I saw your, I now Clarissa, I I saw your video, uh, <laughs> I saw your video, um, and I I I I saw your video, and you know what you what you what you said, you know what you said, what you want out of uh trucker beauties, but the controversy is. Some people thinking thinking it's it's a it's it's a it's a S rated porn site. What do you got to say about that? Now, well, now yeah, I to, this is what I have to say about it. When it comes down to truck beauty, people are gonna take what they want to take from it. The only thing we can do here is be here to provide to provide what we bring to the table, what we're bringing to the table. People are going to say whatever they want to say. People are going to do whatever they want to do. But we are providing a content that never was created before. And the example that I gave for, for the content, like the people like providing the negative feedback from Trucker Beauties, this, mm -hmm. is the, this is the saying I gave. Trucker Beauties, look at it like a beautiful woman that's here to help you process trucking and process the woman. Like, we want to make it feel, make you feel comfortable when you come to us. Make you feel appreciated when you come to us. Cause we know you're lonely. We know, we know you're out there on the road, and the only thing you got is your mind in the road. So why can't we create this platform to have that escape away from the negative negativity, like the other negative sites on on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? We're here to provide that positive uplifting by seeing a beautiful woman. By seeing a sexy man, that's what we're here for. Some... And it got, and it get, and it get misconstrued because people love foolishness. People love to create negative content because they think that is a good thing, but it actually so... didn't do nothing but promote us and made us smaller. Correct. Some, Correct. some, some, some say, some say that it's uh. Is is so disrespectful to to the women in the trucking industry. And, and to them it could be, but I know that when I get it, when I get in my truck and I pull up to a, a, a gentleman, I have nothing but respect. I get, no, I claim respect when I walk into a room, when I walk into a shipper, when I walk into a gas station, I claim it because I'm going in looking beautiful. I'm going in my head held high. I'm greeting everyone. Hello, good morning. I smell good. I wear bath and body work. I keep myself fresh. So I gain respect when I go anywhere I go. So it's never someone looking at me like, oh, uh, untasted. No, they get nothing but a piece of good presentation in their mouth when they look at me. So what do you... So right, and... other and, people, it could be different. So, so... And the Trucker Beauties YouTube, we are going to be highlighting... Uh, strong, beautiful truckers who are doing their thing on the road. So that channel is going to be growing and it will be showcasing uh, trucker women doing their thing and doing their thing with style and class. 
Respect. And so is the business. Yes. Correct. So the thing is, is that people people are solely talking about the lifestyle group that is not for everyone, and that's the issue. So it's like the the, the same way of you know you don't go into the um, the gay community and say, well, you know, I am not, um, you know, uh, you leave if someone identifies themselves as that then that's that person's life. If someone say, oh, I identify myself as heterosexual, then that's that person's life. So why would I go into uh, the, the gay community and, and, and go in and critique and criticize and say, hey, well, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? So what people do is you come into the lifestyle group to say, hey, I'm not in the lifestyle, then obviously the lifestyle group is not for you. The lifestyle group is for people who choose to find that diversion, that sexual diversion in their day. There's some people who will not. So we, we consider ourselves the hooters for truckers. And I said this in my previous interview, and we're going to keep saying the same thing over and over again because it's no more and no less than what we are explaining. So people can add whatever they want, but at that point it's hearsay and they're making that up and people are, are repeating third-party information and we know that when you uh, present information, it should always be from the first person and we are the first person and we appreciate you for coming to the first person direct to the source to explain what we are. So when Hooters first started, everybody was in an uproar saying, well, how dare they have these women in these tight shirts and these booty shorts selling food, and then now it's the go-to place for chicken wings, and now people don't even think about it. Oh, huh, should we go to Applebee's or should we go to Hooters? It's a, such a natural selection. Now, They'll say Hooters. Now you see, you, you see, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, you, you, you kind of, you, you kind of, Trying, you you kind of you know try to try to play one off the other like you know one one is food we got that but the other one is like a profession <laughs> like you know we're we're dri- we're well, truck we we're needed truck to drivers give, we needed to give no we need we're we're we're, we're, we're <laughs> truck drivers you see what I'm saying we supposed we supposed to show some type of professionality like. Okay, so Clarissa, you say, you know, you go with your head here, how did that's good. I like strong women like that. You know, your you know, your curves are showing and all like that. But you want to show that professionality as a truck driver when when you when you step out of the when you step out of the truck. You know, because there is so there is a lot question? of there is a lot of truck drivers out here that's like that sees you got that sees women as as objectivity and they'd be throwing a whole bunch of negative vibes your way. The same kind okay. of vibes so that you I guys are trying question? to uh, go, ahead. Hello. Go, ahead. Hello. Go, ahead. go ahead. So the question that I want to ask is the question that I want to ask is why is it that us stepping out looking beautiful and sexy in the, in the attire that we choose? Why is that not being professional? Whose mind is it that's making it non-professional? And I think that's what we need to do. We need to change the we need to change the narrative of who is creating who's writing that narrative to say that because we, we are representing yeah. our authentic self that it is not professional. And that's the point that we're trying to make. Well no, it's nothing it's it's nothing bad on it's it's nothing bad on how you guys, you know, come out of the truck. You, I mean, you know, I me personally I you know, I chose to drive a truck because I don't want to wear no uniform. You know, I'm I'm good, you know, coming out of the truck, shorts on, you know what I'm saying, shorts on and all like that. I, I don't do flip-flops. I'm, I'm sorry. Just just don't do flip-flops. I, I don't see That's that. That's all I wear is but, flip-flops uh, on the truck. But, but I, come, I come out, you know, I, I come out, you know, I come out with the, you know, casual attire, you know, looking good, smelling good and all like that. I don't have a problem with a woman coming out of the truck looking good, looking good, wearing whatever you want to wear. The thing is, if you coming out of the truck wearing like, like tight spandex or booty shorts or tube tops that that show all your, show all your goods, then. I I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing spandex though. That's the issue. And a lot of women wear spandex. What? No, no, no. I have spandex on now. I, no, I, I understand. I, I understand. I understand that, but I'm just saying, you know, that's that's how some other people going to perceive you as, like, huh? Okay. You know. Then I feel like we need Hold to on. change their perception 
because when the women when the women's revolution came and when the the sexual revolution came what 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 happened was you change and even the civil rights revolution you change people's perception of what is commonplace and what we're saying is because women are not in the trucking we're, we're the minority in the trucking community we have to change this pre uh, sexual revolution, a women's revolution concept of that we have to act accordingly so that we can be accepted, and that's what we're here to challenge. Go ahead, go ahead, Clarissa. Okay, so let me say this. Let me say this. I know I am a full figure woman. Okay. Fifty-two inch ass. I can't hide this, but it, I man. do she not. Said fifty-two inch ass. I, I only shut up. Listen. 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 Okay. I, Breaking up there, right at the good part too. What, what'd you say? Yeah, you yeah, you coming in, you you breaking up. You need to need to move closer to the window. We... No, no, you can't hear me. No, no, we're you, good now. No, nah, we can hear you okay. now, but we didn't hear what you said. So can you repeat that? Okay, this is what I said. I said that with me being such a full figure woman, I wear the same. I wear nothing but a pair of three dollar leggings and a three dollar shirt, but I make it look sexy with my body shape. Okay. I make it look sexy the way I walk. I make it look sexy when I open my mouth and say good morning, and I'm coming at my pussy smelling good, my hair did, my nails looking good. They got damn. Right, where, where, where the good part? What the hell, man? <laughs> Where'd she go? I mean, she was. I'm, I'm over here sweating because the way she was talking, man. Did 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 we lose her? <laughs> we we lost her. Uh, l- l- see if we can get. Let her. me grab her again. Yeah, see if we can get her okay. back, man. Okay, so what the the hell? Okay, can you hear me? Hello? I'm, I'm Hi, sorry, my phone lost. I'm sorry, my phone uh, lost signal. Yeah, um, yeah, you lost, you lost, lost signal there, and you, you was, uh, okay, I, you, you was on the road too, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm always, I'm always on the move. But this is, I was saying that I don't wear certain things because I'm not out here to impress a man. Right. I'm out here to be me. I'm out here to make my money. So I can't wear booty. Correct. Shoes. I'm sorry. I can't do it. As soon as I bend over, the whole world will see my behind. I can't do that. Well, you... I can say. Oh, go ahead. go ahead. Go. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I, I can. I can say that everything I do, I will look good in whatever I wear. But I don't wear certain things. I don't wear like I, I keep it very simple, very classy. But I also come to work. So I don't come for the attention. It's gonna that's gonna come regardless. 
but I'm not going to change how I dress because a, a man can't handle his urges. I can't. I'm Correct. not going to change that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to change the way I dress because another woman can't handle me wearing that because she can't wear it. And I also mm-hmm. want to make sure it's known that I don't want to look like no everyday truck driver. I want to look like a truck of beauty doll. Okay. I want to mm-hmm. look like a beautiful woman. I don't want to be wearing Correct. no collar shorts. I don't want to be wearing no little nasty tank top. No. I wear lingerie when I go to bed. And I'm going to wear it at home. In my truck. Now, Clarissa, right. I, 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 I want to I, I want to bring up the point that that you just said. Home, uh, you are married, right? Yes, I happily. Uh, many years. Yes. Oh, how many? How many years? How, wait, wait, wait. How many years? Um, we've been we've been together fourteen years. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up right there. Fourteen years. Hopefully, hopefully you could um. Hopefully you can keep it strong. <laughs> you know, not too many people can oh, keep a strong and, and marriage. Everything we're doing, you, and everything I do, I go to him, and he has to approve. So how it's how not a move I how, make without him? How how is he? How is he? How how is he accepting this this ven- uh, this venture that that you and uh what that you and Gigi are are are, are going into? I would say, as an outsider looking in, he's one of her biggest supporters. And I love that about them. Okay, okay. And also, I will let you do an interview with me and him because that's something that we are starting to. We want to show people that that man is my movement. If he if he breathes, I open the mouth to let it out. Like I, we are each other's. If it wasn't for him, I could not be like this because that man is allowing me to be who I am. He's allowing me to be sexual. He's allowing me to, because he knows he gets all of that. He knows that he, all that is his. Hmm. But to the outside world, they think, oh, that, that, I, done, I done heard it all. I done got called whole slut, prostitute, everything. But I know, and he knows I'm not going nowhere. He knows my face. He knows where I, where I lay. So yeah. it's just one thing about our marriage is we have trust. And no marriage is going to work without trust. And that's something that makes us work. Exactly. So he's my biggest supporter because he knows every move I make is to better our family and to bring uh, income to our household. So every income ain't got to be through him. So that what... man is sitting back looking lovely. He only worked one job. I work about, about five or six. Oh, okay. So I don't care. I'm bringing it for our family. I okay. do anything to protect my family. So... And to make sure my husband, would, I want to retire my husband. So he don't got to retire me. I retire so, him. So what do you what do you say about people that says that you don't have no respect for him? Um, I really we 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 brush that off because as long as we know, we we go off of what each other. We don't care about nobody else. That's one thing that makes us so prosperous is we mind our business that pays us, and that's me and him. Why would he? Why would I care if somebody say I'm not being respectful to my husband, but I just drunk in over ten thousand dollars in a week? Hmm. Why would I? Why would I care? Why would I? Why would he care if he knows that I'm laying right next to him and somebody's making a video saying I'm sleeping with somebody else, but I'm laying right next to him? Hmm. Why should he care? If you sweat the small stuff, when the big stuff comes, you're not gonna be able to handle it. Hmm. So that's what makes him so calm. If you notice, my husband's very calm. Mm-hmm. He don't say much mm-hmm. because he has no reason to talk to respond. And I definitely don't because he's my motivation. So if I see him get mad, then it triggers me like, whoa, something's okay. wrong. So okay, if he so don't get mad, I don't respond. So he's so he's uh so he's supporting he's supporting you in this little venture. What about so what do you he made you, the logos. He make our photos and all of that. He does so, all of that. So you 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 have you yes, he does. you have kids, uh both of you do. You guys have kids. How, how are they taking this venture? Oh. That is I, I've always you, yeah. I've always been an ind- yeah, I've I've always been an independent person. You know, I and and my family already knows. I, you know, with them or with the rest of the world, I don't. You know, I don't ask for permission. I, you know, just make announcements. I'm here. 
and this is what I'm doing. And I've always been that way. So, you know, this venture isn't any different. Okay. Okay. Clarissa? And then when it comes down to me, I'm, I'm raising two young black men. So with that being said, my boys can tell you when they get older, they have seen nothing but a sexy, beautiful, full-figure woman. So they will not even let me wear a certain wig if it don't, if it don't impress them. They would okay. say, Mama, I don't like that. Or Mama, uh-uh, no. Or wear your shorts. I like those shorts. I don't like that right there. They would tell me why. Because they are building a woman, too. They're not going to let me even go out looking crazy. Because they know a woman's going to showcase her body no matter what. But she's going to do it in a classy way. That would be the only way you accept her. So every time I step out, even with them knowing about Trucker Beauty, they like, ooh, Mommy, that's going to be a good video. Or that's going to be a good topic. Because they, when I go out, they see the men. See, they see that every time I go out, I look good. So they make Oh man, she her phone is yeah. jacked. <laughs> it, it, there she goes. She can't. Yeah, you, yeah your yeah, phone you, is jacked. Yeah, you, you were you were cutting out. Yeah, you yeah, cut, yeah, cut cause, it yeah, out. She's driving right now. <laughs> but now I wanted to know if it's okay because Clarissa talked about a trucker beauties from a married woman's perspective, yeah. and um and and if, and if it's okay for me to talk about trucker beauties from a single yeah, person's go ahead. perspective, a single yeah. woman's perspective. So now um you know because I always you know lived in my you know, just wanting to look my best and feel my best. I, um, you know, when I was out on the road for weeks and months at a time, I felt like I was losing a part of myself, uh, you know, true to myself, my, you know, getting my nails done and getting my hair done and looking my best. And, you know, I wanted to be able to create this platform because the business page and our website, we are going to have opportunities for women to get, um, you know, beautiful items for they, them to remain beautiful on the road, whether it's buying wigs or, you know, self-care things and uh, beautiful pieces of lingerie or 90s to go to sleep. So everyone is focusing on, focusing on the lifestyle group, but we are here to to support the woman, the women in their role as beautiful, sexy, sensual truck drivers to in their own right. Everybody knows what that means to themselves. Okay. So that was part one. Now, part two, where the lifestyle thing comes in is that me, myself, I was in a loveless marriage for 12 years in a marriage that was very um, deprived of like affection and uh, sex and things of that nature. So there are a lot of people in loveless marriages, in, in marriages that or, or relationships that they say, you know, I do not, you know, get the kind of attention that I need and I deserve. So, uh, you know, what they choose to do with that is their business. But we are here to provide that, you know, attention and affection in a way that when they come into Trucker Beauty, lifestyle group they know that they're going to get that attention and for me when once I got divorced I was introduced to a lifestyle group 10 years ago and I know that it changed my life for the better because it it showed me that I was a desirable woman that I am that it, it it allowed me to tap into my feminine energy and for me myself for Gigi that feminine energy for me is powerful so whatever it is that people choose to do with that, that is up to them. Now, that is not, and I say this over and over again in all of my videos, this, the lifestyle group, or being in the lifestyle, I tell people, please Google it. Google what it means to be in the lifestyle. It is not for everyone. Now, so I, always I, say, I got a quick question. Apply, quick question. Quick question. Quick, quick question. Quick question. Now, I, I, I see... And I hear what you guys is trying to bring, you know, to the forefront with this, with, with the trucker beauty, with the trucker beauties movement, the, the, the vibe, the, the, you know, the venue. Correct. I see what you guys is trying to do, but the, the, the lifestyle group is, is sort of, why not have, why, why not why not have the lifestyle group separated from the trucker beauties vibe? If everybody, if everybody is down, if, if everybody is down talking and, and showing negative, uh, negative things for the, for the lifestyle group, why not just separate it? Um, 
Well, we, we did we did separate it in the sense that we have our business page and we're going to be showcasing trucker women in the YouTube page. Now, if you do not want to be part of the lifestyle group, you do not have to be part of the lifestyle group. Oh, so it's kind of like so it's kind of like when it's kind of like when uh like when Playboy came out, Playboy uh create they brought that lifestyle into the mainstream. So you have the people who were Playboy members that would go to the Playboy mansions and parties and and participate participate in that but and then there were people who maybe just had the keychain or maybe they just had their shirt or paraphernalia maybe they just bought the magazines so everybody yeah. chooses how they're going to participate in the brand and the movement that we have to offer yeah but don't that, but, but, but other, don't you... other than it being virtual virtual entertainment and something that we bring to people it, it's no more and no less than that but don't you so think people want to add more that the more is happening out of it that's their choice and but their don't decision. you but don't but you no one gave them that idea but don't you think there? but don't you think that they're you know in the industry that we're in the trucking industry you know because there's 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 a vast majority of some sick individuals in this industry don't you think there's too many weirdos in this industry for you guys to be doing something like that well let me comment on that it's weirdos everywhere let me correct i used to with my bachelor's degree in criminal justice i used to work in the prison system and you know what i had more weirdos coming from the school system from the churches from the dog mm -hmm. grocery store than what I've seen in trucking. Right hand to the to God himself. I have seen more weirdos coming from that from in your house than what I have ever witnessed in trucking. So I believe that a lot of people make a bad name for trucking for things just like this. They think that truck yeah. drivers are just some nasty, perverted people that are out here killing and robbing and right. killing people in their trucks when we're really not. We out here to make our bread and go home. Yeah, so but we're some trying to change the whole narrative of everyone. Yeah, but but like I like I said before, you know, you this this industry been this way for decades you know and like i said you know how to you know how some of the truck drivers is being some of them you know not all not all of you guys but some of them are disrespectful to to the females and now y'all giving you giving uh a platform which i think ain't ain't this the same so, platform so should we address? Ain't, ain't this the same ain't ain't this the same platform that that people got to pay to get in the life now. Go ahead, Monica. No, go ahead. Okay, so this platform is you do have to pay the five dollar one time only fee. Okay. But that five dollars go towards that go towards our we're presenting with merchandise. We're coming to the table with uh, different things to offer to our people that's a part of our group that they can buy now. And then you get you are getting to meet. You are getting to meet different people, and you are mm -hmm. getting content that you're not going to get nowhere else. But this is the thing. Yes, you got to pay $5 one time only fee, but mm -hmm. don't people go, if they go to YouTube mm -hmm. and they press subscribe and they watch the video, they are paying that person to watch the video by pressing subscribe and watching the video. That person is getting paid from that. Then why can't this be the same exact thing? Well, wait, 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 wait. Now, we, we, only get, we only get paid by ad revenue. That's about it. <laughs> okay. On YouTube? But, but, we out now, but you do get super chat. We can't get super chat. Oh, well, that's that's and, only if somebody, you know, and, that's only if somebody wants Right, and to. you have, but I feel like the, I mean, but I feel like the focus is that you have a group of people that are dedicating themselves to be available for people content. who are there to chalk. Yeah, content. we're providing content. We're providing that individual support and people have to be paid yeah people have to be paid for their time um i am going to be you know uh, traveling to to interview different women so it is a platform of entertainment that we're providing to uh different people so and this is what i say people people spend people spend more money buying uh you know a hot dog a, a, a crappy hot dog at the at the 
that's a pilot and it's some stale coffee that's going to give them the runs in 20 minutes. And they don't complain about that. But a one-time $5 fee to, for a platform that has never been seen before and that a lot of people are supporting because right now we're, we're focusing on the people who are the naysayers yeah. and the people who are not supportive. I want to focus on the people who are saying, you're doing a great job. We love what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, Thank you that I, 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 I was feeling depressed the other day and I was able to come in here and laugh with someone. Yesterday I was feeling a little down about someone and someone cheered me up and made me feel better. So, you know, I, you know, I want to focus on those people that are, that we're celebrating and they're celebrating us. So, and that's what I'm going to continue so, to do. I'm, so, we're not going to focus on the people who are criticizing us. We're just going to keep moving forward as we have planned and focus on the people that, that we love and love us back. So, and for the people that don't love us, they, it's, it's their prerogative. So, and I, I'm sort of done talking about the, the naysayers, to so, be honest with you. <laughs> that's, no, that's what's up. I mean, no, 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 no. I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I, I get what you're saying. But I'm, you know, that's, that's, that's the fight. That's the dog fight that 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 you guys gonna that you guys coming up against. Y'all had to. Y'all had to. It don't bother. You know what? It don't bother. It don't bother me. Yeah, but it don't bother me because this is your. Like this is the thing. Mm -hmm. With you being a journalist, which I think you do a great job at. I Thank you. And I yes, love definitely. The I love the questions because so many people would not ask these questions, and they would go out here and make up assumptions. They would right. go out here and say what they want to say. At least you asked them the question. Right. You know Correct. Right. So, so get, keep them coming, brother. We are with all this shit. Thank you. Yes, sir. definitely. <laughs> so, so you want to throw them questions, but keep them coming because we are answering these questions from everybody who's out there making assumptions. At least you had the balls and the audacity to ask us the question. So keep them coming. What's what's next? Correct, uh, and, uh, and in an objective uh, way I, to get to be informative, and we I, appreciate that. Y I get, like I said, I. I, I got it. I you know what I'm saying. I got it. I I see. I, I see what you guys trying to. You know what I'm saying. I, I see what you guys trying to do. I see what you guys trying to. You know, trying to bring to the forefront. Trying, I, I want to say. I want to say that we are doing it because that we we are touching lives in positive ways. Yeah, we we are touching lives in positive ways, and we're super ex and we're super excited about it because in in 45 days that we have been um that we've been running, we've had. 7,000 people come through all of our platforms that were super excited about that. So we're doing something right. Well, you exactly. You you must be doing something you you must be doing something good because you know like they say, you know, if you don't have haters, you're not doing nothing good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, you know, correct. You know correct. Say, Lock, no, Lock, this is the saying that we use. This is the saying that we use. If my if our pussies is not in your mouth, <laughs> Then we're not doing something right. So if okay. it's in your mouth, you're eating it up because you're talking exactly. about it. Exactly, and, and they you are, and they are eating it up. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, they they are they are eating it up, man. They 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 are eating it up. Yeah, Trucker, and, and I say and I, and I say Trucker Beauties, we came to stay and we're here to slay. Okay, that's yeah, what's up, you. Trucker Beauties. I mean, so you you, you guys. You us? There you go. I I I. I <laughs> I got. We with it because you know what? We believe in. We believe in empowerment. We believe in in building people up. But people are gonna say what they want to say. And I am a motivational speaker five days out of the week. On I try to make my videos five days out of the week. But I'm a motivational person. And one thing I told uh, Monica this morning is, if we're not, I knew. I told her this was all coming. I told her, I said, that'd be the Correct. only way we know if we're popping, if we get the YouTube videos, we get the interviews, we get the phone calls, we get people saying that we're being lot lizards and hoes and prostitutes. Right. If we don't get that, we ain't popping. So I said, we right. need every last bit of it. I told her that. Correct. As soon as we got and can it, I... And we get and if it's okay for me to add one more thing, we also have some really amazing partnerships that are highlighting other trucking um, aspects. So we have a partnership with uh, cooking on the truck. So we have truckers that cre create these amazing cuisines on the truck, and we're going to be partnering with them if we have any type of sexy, wonderful meet and greet, and we'll just have a whole bunch of trucks together. So we're really trying to make a platform of unity and community and just showing people that we're here with a different tone and we 
we're also very proud to be partnering with, uh, because people had questions about this, we're also partnering with uh, Truckers Against uh, Trafficking. Yes, correct. And, and we're all finalizing our certification with that, that we are supportive of, you know, that endeavor that we, you know, are not, you know, that we, that, that we are here to do things how it should be done. And correct. And everything... Correct. And everything that we do, it's in a, it's a virtual entertainment kind of thing, provide beautiful merchandise that women can have. And, and our vision is uh, phenomenal. That uh, Our vision is out there that we always say, like, if we share our vision, it's too big. And it'll make other people uncomfortable just to even hear it. All right, so, so that's so the, what we came to do. All right, so so before we get up out of here, man, first thing first, I wanna I wanna appreciate I appreciate you guys coming on and uh and talking about trucker beauties. Um, yes, the, thank the, you for the, having the us. Yeah, the thank pla- you. The platform, the you know, and all and, and all that it entails. Um. Before before we get up out of here, man, uh, Clarissa, Monica, uh, would I know I, at least Monica? I know she said she didn't want to talk about the naysayers anymore, but but before you guys get out, Puerto Rican princess coming out of Monica, right? Because, so because, if you guys want to get up, we, we, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, mm-hmm. before we get up out of <laughs> here, I would like to ask you guys, uh, what do you have to as parting ways? What do you have to say to everybody that don't understand uh, trucker beauties or or the negatives um, uh, that's coming towards y'all I, way? I, um, I, well, I go first. Is that okay? You okay go ahead. Monica? Sure. Okay. I say keep them coming because ain't we? I told Monica this this morning. All the negatives, all the the comments, the posts. The everything people saying, we're using that as fuel to move our car. Ain't it's not a car out here that's not gonna move off fuel, gasoline. Uh, it's not gonna move it off electricity. It's not a car out here that's gonna move forward without that without that fuel. We're looking at it as a hurdle. And it's not a race that's not gonna come and, and it don't got a hurdle in front of it. It's not a road you're gonna drive on that don't got construction sites. So all of that BS, we're looking at it as nothing but a, a, a block or a construction area, a hurdle, or a piece of fuel that we're going to use to push us forward. Because at the end of that finish line, we're going to be sitting back laughing that we went through all of this and, and look how far we done got. We went through all the hurdles. We went through all the BS. We went through all the, oh, they said, and we heard. But who's going to be laughing? Who's going to be having the championship? That's going to be Monica and myself at Trucker Beauty. Because we are taking over the world with this platform. Cause it's never yes, we are. All right, yes, Monica, Monica, what you got to and say? The, yeah, the only thing I have to say is that... Yeah, yeah, I always have something to say. But, you know, what I wanted to say was that when, when, <laughs> when people take the time to really put down, uh, you know, because cause I, I don't, I don't, you know, subscribe to the mob mentality. So when people take a moment to, to put down the, the sticks that are burning with fire and, and out for this witch hunt, they and they actually just come in and look at what Trucker Beauties is offering objectively, they're going to find a brand that is full of love, acceptance, uh, happiness, joy, and just trying to spread love throughout the um, through the, throughout the uh, tr- trucking community in different ways. And it's a little there's some kind of way for everyone. People just want to come for some self care. They want to buy some sexual toys. They want to buy some lingerie. They, it's just like an intimate platform. This is a pl- uh, the feel good place. Okay, the virtual feel good place to to say you know what I left trucker beauties better than how I came in and every time I go into the room that's how I feel when you come into our page that's what you're going to get is motivation and love when you watch our YouTube videos that's all you're going to get is motivation and love I have a video a depression prevention and suicide prevention video that was on my YouTube for at least about a year but it was under a different name and this is the issue that I have with society don't blame us for what we're doing society is the one that wants to uh, focus on things that sexualize. So if you take a look at how many views I got that on that video, 
uh, it, it doesn't compare to, you know, when, when you take some, some jugs and juggle it in front of somebody and say, oh, did someone say titties? Let me, let me see what, you know, what happened. Uh, did someone say twerking and, and booty bouncing? Let me see what's going on. But when you come to people in its truest, purest form saying, hey, truckers are depressed on the road. They are committing suicide. They are feeling abandoned by their family. No one's listening. But if you have a woman jumping up and down and shaking their boobs and say, come here, baby, put your head in my bosom and, and cry it out. They were like, oh, yeah, call my mama, you know, I, you know, I want some milk, you know. So it's like, every, so because we have to put things of sexual connotation to get people's attention to show that this is what we're, a platform that we're trying to push forward, and this is how we chose to do it. All right, all right, all right, trucker, all right, trucker beauties, y'all. Um, Clarissa, thank you. Monica, You're thank so you awesome. very much. We love you so much. Uh, where, where they, so... Go ahead and uh, shout out uh, Trucker Beauties, where people can naturally uh, find uh, find the content. Go ahead, Clarissa. Uh, well, we have the lifestyle group. That's Trucker Beauties lifestyle group, and it's only a one time only membership fee for the guys for five dollars. The ladies gonna get in free. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Why, why do the guys gotta pay and the ladies get in for free? What, what, what? The, what? We try, we try to be clubbing. We try to be clubbing. We we clubbing over here. Women get in for free. No, because no, because this is a this is more men than girls, and the girls and the guys normally they don't like for a real man don't like for a woman to have to open her wallet. I know my husband don't, so that's why we set it for the men to have to pay, and not the women. The women need to be showcased that. Be free of being beautiful. Come in here without the embarrassment. But if we make them pay, they're going to be like, so I got to pay it. And the, all these men in here, and I got to pay. No, let them know. Come in. Have a good time. Sometimes the guys will turn around and say the same thing. Like, yo, we got to pay? <laughs> but I, I, got, I got you. It's 98% men. I got it's you. I got and Clarissa. I, I got you. I got you. Okay. I got you. Okay. I got you. Okay. All right, go ahead. Where, where else so, can they find you at? So, so they can find us at, like I said, the lifestyle group. Mm -hmm. Also, we have the business page called Trucker Beauty mm -hmm. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So have the Instagram called Trucker Beauty, and that's on IG. But you, it's friend, um, it's requested only because that's a private page. Also, we have is it is it trucker is it trucker, trucker beauties no no underscores or anything like that trucker beauties. I'm sorry, I, I missed that. I, I, I missed said, that. is it is it trucker is it trucker beauties straight or do you got to put an underscore or anything like that because I'm typing it up no. now. Oh, um, no, it's just trucker beauties. Oh, okay, trucker. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure. And then also, me and Monica's personal, uh, like I said, I do a lot of YouTube videos at the Rankings World. Mm -hmm. And on that platform, I'm transforming that into more back into trucking, but more talk broadcasting, getting into the mind of a truck driver mm -hmm. and being open to let people talk to us. Because that's the one thing at Trucker Beauty, a lot of people are not receiving this love at home. You wouldn't believe it, but a lot of these men are not receiving this attention. Mm -hmm. They are not receiving this love. They are not receiving this one-on-one -on -one connection at home. So at Trucker Beauty, they have that. If they post a picture of them getting their hair done, they have that. And we, the women are in there saying, hey, handsome, how are you doing? That mm -hmm. looks nice today. And they getting excited for it because they're not getting it at home. Some men are never not even getting a compliment at home, and some women are not. That's a lot what, what Trucker Beauties is there for. That's why we made these different platforms. So if somebody don't got Facebook, we got the Instagram. If somebody don't got Instagram, we got the Facebook or YouTube. So it's, we, we're creating a virtual world where people can always feel loved and welcome and appreciated. And have a good time. Get some. You're never going to get this content nowhere else. I'm okay. sorry. All the groups. You're not going to get none of this nowhere else. You're only going to get this content at Trucker Beauty. All right, all right. Trucker Beauties. Okay. All right, so you guys can find it at uh, YouTube. They got, they got a YouTube page up under the same name. Uh, Instagram, which I just went over to and, and request. You got to request to follow and all that good stuff. They Facebook page, uh, Trucker Beauties Facebook page. Uh, 
and truckers truck truckers hardware and of course the sub private chat the the chipple etz controversy i'm sure it's going to go ahead and continue on uh but i wish you guys i, I yeah. wish you guys well i really do you guys um you, you i what, what, what can i say what, what 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 can i say man i can't i can't say much I, I can't say much, you know what I'm saying? I can't say much, you know what I'm saying? Just uh just more power to these uh two strong young young ladies, man. Hopefully that this uh hopefully that this will go and be something and be prosperous with it. Yo, what's up y'all? I mean, yo, Clarissa Rankin from the Rankins world and and uh Monica Gigi. And uh, great conversation, guys. I really do appreciate it. Yo, if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, all you got to do is hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com, or you can uh, you can uh, text me, 216-600-2090, or go over to Instagram, hit me up over there, and I'll bring y'all right on. That's what I do. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host. That is me, Lockout Men. This is Clarissa Rankin and Monica. That's what's up. Those two is in the house. And on that note, we are gone.